the last topic in our chapter 8 internal trade that is special economic zones sage formally known as sage with the sage we are developing or attracting the foreign investment sage means special economic zones with the zones main aim is what to get the more funds from the foreigners foreign through attracting a foreign investment for that we in our india establishes these sage zones with the sage zones we are providing some facilities to who are ready to investing in particular zones actually these sage zones are majorly for development of backward areas rural development ba balanced we can say balanced regional development purpose our india itself sages will be established which are nearby undeveloped areas those zones are established who are ready to establish in on particular zones then automatically they, the zones through there is a lot of employment opportunity for that surrounding area people and also get the better livelihood like that will be happen so that this concept is come forward in our india for attracting the foreign investment and, and other investment with that balanced regional development purpose so this is what we have the sages here the sage zones are there these zones sage will be implies the following zones some of the zones will be there for the attracting the investment firstly free trade zones free trade zones means this type of zones will be giving free of activities who are establishing the zones as in companies or other industries like that they are freely trade freely trade at all buying and selling without some restrictions that is a some implies some zones like free trade zones export processing zones export processing zones epz export processing zone this will be explained clearly in ninth chapter we'll see on that so export processing zones properly development of exports that purpose this type of zones will be established free zones as usually free zones fjs for doing the buying or selling of goods and services for the establishment of a particular organizations are also manufacturing purpose some of the industries also established in this type of areas it is a free zone so there is a incentives also provided for the particular establishment of the organizations that is also free zones and industrial parks industrial parks means that particular area belongs to industries only there is no other organization completely industrial that will be designed parks like little bit long to the residential areas so a lot of pollution will be there for that completely this type of oh, parks also established with that park we have some provisions also provided some incentives also provide that all will be for industrial parks all in, will be in, invested as establishing the industries in that particular parks and free ports some of the ports ports is nothing but it is a place for where the uh, transport facility is provided so there the free ports are also provided that through also we are attracting the investment urban enterprise zones urban enterprise zones this will be development of the urban areas that purpose uh, there itself uh, establish one zones like that we have some of the zones with this other people will be ready to establishing with their capitals on particular organizations so it will be encouragement of the attracting the investment this is what we have the zones and at present there are eight zones established formulated nearly in maharashtra kerala gujarat tamil nadu telangana andhra pradesh west bengal and uttar pradesh these are the eight zones of dev in the sage zones free zones like that with these zones we are apply, uh, establishing various companies and uh, development the products and uh, those will be helpful for the growth of our balanced regional development our indian development also will be depending on that so this is what we have the epjs for that why the zones are free zones are sp uh, special economic zones why it is established by the organization just now only said for attracting the 
for an investment. For that, what is the objective are there for the sage? Why the sages are established? So first, generation of the additional economic activity. For additional economic activities purpose, we have to establish more and more companies and industries. For that, encouragement will be required. So that for the encouragement purpose, encouragement purpose, encouragement purpose, compulsory, we have to establish the organization. Encouragement purpose, we have to establish the encouragement. Without encouragement here, the economic activities, additional economic activities purpose, we are ready to establish the new organizations. For that, we have special zones will be there in that you can establish it, your organizations, then automatically economic activities will be additionally it will be improved. That's what the sages are objective, first objective. Secondly, promotion of exports of goods of services. Promoting the exports, our goods from India to other countries means exporting. Purpose also, we have to establish this stage. With this stage, lot of organizations, business organizations or industries, companies, they are established in that their manufacturing activities are taken place. With that, more and more products will be produced. In that surplus produced products will be there. Those will be exported to other countries. Then automatically our economical position will be developed. So that SAGE will be another objective. Promotion of export of goods and services. And thirdly, promotion of investment from domestic and foreign sources. Promotion of investment from the domestic and foreign means we are actually the SAGE main objective. Why the SAGE is established to attract in the investment. So that is only the objective. What is that? The promotion of the investment from the domestic as well as the foreign sources. We have the domestic sources as well as the foreign sources through. We are attracting it and establishing the companies or industries for that the sage will be established. Special economic zones will be provided. Creation of employment opportunity. Whenever the new uh, industries or companies or any other way it will be established automatically growth of employment will be there so nearest people ba balance regional development purpose developed areas will be there undeveloped areas will be there in that undeveloped areas we are treated as a special economic zones who the person will be establishing in that place some of the benefits will be provided by the government then automatically all are will be established there itself only there automatically there are requirement of the labor or employment will be there so certain people will be take getting a job opportunity on particular zone so like that the generation of creation of employment opportunity is possible with the sage that is also another objective and finally the develop the infrastructural facilities which are required the facilities like establishment purpose or establishment of the missionaries or company like that every infrastructure all and every possible facilities that should be the infrastructure only that all facilities will be clearly provided purpose sage will be provided in our particular zone itself you want to establish any organization any industry there is an infrastructure in, uh, facilities will be provided that purpose also sage is main objective these are the objectives which are for sage what are they generation of additional economic activity and promotion of export and of goods and services and promotion of investment from the in domestic and foreign sources and creation of employment opportunities creation of employment opportunities and development of infrastructure facilities also these are the some of the objectives